This is a typical example of um, an exam question on matrices. Now, I think in the exam, the matrices question should be your first go-to question because I think there's less variability on what they're going to ask. They're going to ask things like find an inverse of three by three matrices. They're going to ask about eigenvalues and find an eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And then they're going to also find, if we look at part three, and um, this is what we're really going to be concentrating on today, they'll also ask things like this. Find P, Q, and R such that A cubed equals P, A squared plus Q, A plus R, I. Um, at the minute, that may be a bit of a block to us. We're not too sure how that works. But by, um, today we're going to be looking at how we can use what we call the Cayley-Hamilton theorem to be able to put matrices in this form. Okay? So, <coughs> part I... Turn the page a bit. Part I says that we need to show that lambda equals 1 is an eigenvalue of A and find the other two. So we've got the matrix um, 3, 2, 3, 1, I'm going to just get it up here, 1, 4, 1, minus 2, minus 4, This is our matrix A. Um, how do we find the eigenvalues? Storm. No, not determinant. We should work out the, not the determinant of A. We should work out the determinant of A. minus lambda i. Yeah? Okay, so this is basically the determinant of, now the diagonal 3 minus lambda, 1 minus 2, 2, 4 minus lambda, minus 4, 2, 1, minus 1 minus lambda. Okay? And this has to be equal to 0. This is what we call characteristic equation. Okay, the characteristic equation. So the determinant of this, if we um, circle this one first of all, um, so we're going to have 3 minus lambda multiplied by, well, it's the, it's the um, determinant of what's left over if we delete the columns and the rows corresponding to that element. And it's going to be, if I put square brackets there, 4 minus lambda multiplied by minus 1 minus lambda minus minus 4, so that's plus 4. Okay, I need to give myself a little bit more space there, guys. It's going to be a lot of work. Then, and Leo, this is a mistake you made in your homework, then we go minus. You forgot to do that, which um, made a lot of um, mistakes there. So if we look at 1, and if we do the 2 multiplied by the minus 1 minus lambda, subtract minus 8, so that's plus 8. And finally, we look at minus 2, but it's plus minus 2, so that doesn't have any effect. And it's 2 times 1, which is 2 subtract two lots of four minus lambda and we know that all has to be equal to zero because that's what our characteristic equation is. What we've got to do now is do some <coughs> mega simplification. Um, who can tell me what the inside of this square bracket is? Yes, good. Lambda squared minus 3 lambda. Um, we get also get, obviously, a 4 times minus 4, but because we've got the plus 4 there, they will cancel out. 
And that makes things a little bit nicer for us because when we multiply this out, it makes it a little bit easier for us. So we've got minus basically everything in here. How does this one simplify, Leo? So plus six. Yeah. Two times minus one is minus two, so eight minus two is six. So this will be six minus two lambda. And finally, well, the plus and the minus two comes minus 2, and inside these square brackets, what we get, we get 2 minus 8, but we also have a minus minus lambda, so minus minus lambda is lambda, 2 minus 8 is minus 6, and that's going to be equal to 0. Sorry? Ah, oh, sorry. No. 2 lambda, sorry, minus 2 times minus lambda is 2 lambda. Cool. Very easy to make algebraic mistakes in these things, so it's important to, to go slow. Um, if we multiply this out, we can do this nice double brackets. What can anybody tell me what we get from that? The challenge. Okay, let's do the cubes, because it's going to be a cubic. Minus lambda cubed, uh, minus, minus lambda. Minus lambda cubed, we get plus 3 lambda squared, plus another 3 lambda squared, so it'll be plus 6 lambda squared. Um, we're going to have a minus 9 lambda, and that's it. Okay, that's what we're going to get from that. Here we're going to get a minus 6 plus 2 lambda. Here we're going to get a minus 4 lambda plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay? And now we can finally collect all the terms and so we get the characteristic equation. Now, oh, how much? Oh, okay, we'll do it with this. A minus lambda cubed plus 6 lambda squared. The minus 9 lambda plus 2 lambda is minus 7 lambda. Minus another 4 is minus 11 lambda. UK master. Yeah. Minus 6 plus 6 is plus 12 plus 6. Which is equal to 0. Okay, so this is our, our characteristic equation. Who fancy solving that? Luckily, we don't have to. Because it says the question was to show that lambda is equal to one is is an is an eigenvalue. So we just substitute this in, and um, so we get minus one cubed plus six of one squared minus eleven of one plus six, and of course that is equal to minus one plus six, which is minus plus five. Five minus eleven is minus six, and six plus six is zero. Therefore, lambda equals 1 is an eigenvalue. Okay. So, um, we need to find the other two, though, because the question says we have to find the other two. How we, what is our clue? What are we going to try? Sean? Yeah, if we use factors of 6, we can find, we can, by inspection really, find out the other ones. So, if lambda is 1, what, sh what should we try? Lambda equals 2. Okay, lambda is 2, we get minus 2 cubed plus 6 lots of 2 squared minus 11 lots of 2 plus 6. So, that's minus 8 plus 24, which gives us minus plus 16. 16 minus 22 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 is 0. Oh, that's quite nice. We're happy about that. Lambda is 2 is another eigenvalue. Now, 
what's a cheap way of finding the third one? Yeah, what's another way we can find it by just looking at the matrix? Yeah, now the, 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 some of the eigenvalues will always add up to what we call the trace of the matrix, which is the diagonal elements added up. So if the trace of A is equal to 7 minus 1, which is 6. Okay, so the eigenvalues have to add up to 6 as well. Um, so if lambda is 1 is an eigenvalue, lambda of 2 is an eigenvalue, lambda is 3 is an eigenvalue. And you'd have to explain this in the exam. You could, I mean, you could just substitute it in and say, okay, I was lucky, but, um, I was lucky picking lambda as a 3. Um, but you could just say lambda is an eigenvalue because um, trace of A is equal to 3. 6 is equal to 3. And 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Okay? So for me, let's just be straight about this. This is test P2. The difficulty bit is, the difficult part is, get manipulating that equation to get it to look like a cubic. That's difficult, that's fiddly. But then after that, finding the eigenvalues for a cubic is basically core one, isn't it? It's effectively core one, substituting values in, looking at the factors of the constant. Um, now, if they're really nasty, they'll ask you to find eigenvectors for all of them, but here they just want the eigenvector for lambda is one. So, um, part two, um, when lambda is equal to 1, okay, finding the eigenvectors, we have, um, what's it, 3, 2, 2, 1, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 4, 1, and it's minus 2, minus 4, minus 1, multiplied by our eigenvector, which we'll call xy, is equal to 1 lot of xy. Z equal, suddenly, on um, that one. Working in three by three, so it's three dimensional. Okay. Okay. So if we look at, we get three equations from this. Examining the first equation, we get three lots of x plus y minus two lots of z is equal to x, um, and this simplifies to two x plus y minus two z is equal to zero. The second one, we get two x plus four y minus 4z is equal to y, and this simplifies to 2x plus 3y minus 4z is equal to 0. The last one gives us 2x plus y minus z is equal to z, which gives us 2x plus y minus 2z is equal to 0. Okay? What do you notice about these three sets of equations. Sean? Yeah, the top and the bottom are the same. That one is the same as that one. So effectively, we're just going to look at 2x plus y minus 2z is equal to 0, because they're both this look, that's duplicated. 2x plus 3y minus 4z is equal to 0. By the way, if these three equations represented planes, what would be the geometric interpretation of these three planes? And how many solutions would we have? Two of them are exactly the same. Well, two of them would be exactly the same. So we'd have one on top of the other. And the other plane, which has a normal 2, 3, minus 4, that's going to be, I don't know, it could be anywhere, but it would be kind of cut net like that. There will be an infinite amount of solutions there in that line where the, the two planes intersect. Okay? Anyway, that's not what we're after. I think the quickest, best way is we can eliminate x quite, quite quickly from here. So y minus 3y is minus 2y minus 2z, minus minus 4z is plus 2z is equal to 0. 
This basically gives us that y is equal to z. So what should we make y matter? And z becomes 1. Um, and that means that 2x, if we use the top one to find out what x is, plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0. We get 2x is equal to 2 take away 1, which is 1 x is a half. So our eigenvector would be a half 1 1, but we could write that as a better eigenvector, couldn't we? How would we go? 1, 2, 2. So that would be the better eigenvector to have. So x is equal to 1, 2, 2, or any scalar multiple. Straightforward so far. No, nothing new. Now, part three. Find PQR such that A cubed is equal to PA squared plus QA plus R multiplied by the identity matrix. Now, here we are going to use the Cayley Hamilton theorem. And this question is once you know this theorem, this question is a piece of cake. And the theorem states that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. Now, we'll deal with the proof at another time. We're going to do this because it's a nice proof. Um, but here we're just going to apply it. Every square matrix, matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. Now, from your notes, who can tell me what the characteristic equation was in simplified, in when we simplified it? The minus minus B plus 6 minus squared minus 11 minus 6 equal to 0. This is the characteristic equation. Now, what the Cayley Hamilton states, this equation is for real values of lambda. Lambda is a scalar, it's got a matrix. But what is beautiful, it's a really beautiful theorem, is that the matrix itself will satisfy will, this equation. So we can replace lambda by the matrix A, and this is still completely true. The trouble is, here we've got a constant 6, but now we just multiply that by the identity matrix I to ensure that the left-hand side is an identity, is all 3 by 3 matrices. And if we replace 0 by the 0 matrix, then we on both sides we have a left hand, um, we have 3 by 3 matrices. Okay, so the Cayley Hamilton theorem is a little beauty. It's a little beauty that the characteristic equation, characteristic equation we can substitute the value of that matrix into there, and it will still equal zero, which is it's quite remarkable, actually. Um, but we'll look at a proof um, later on, um, when the video is stopped. Now, the question was, we want to find values of P, Q, and R, such that A cubed is equal to this. Well, that's brilliant, because we can just put the A cubed here on the other side, and we'd get a cubed is equal to 6a squared minus 11a plus 6i. Done. P is 6, q is minus 11, r is 6. Cayley Hamilton theorem is incredibly useful. Um, <coughs> Cause it says and show that a to the four. What I'll do is I'll just copy that. Um, copy. If I paste that down here, because this is what we're trying to. 
now we've got to show this. Any ideas here? We've got a cubed, now we want to find a to the 4. What might we do using our previous answer? We've got to get to this. Here we've got an expression for a to the 4. Before we've got an expression to a cubed. So what could we do? John. Yeah. Now, we're trying to find a to the 4. So this is our mission, if you like. Let's put that right down at the bottom, because that's our kind of aim. So we've got a cubed is equal to 6 a squared minus 11a plus 6i. Let's multiply both sides by a, the matrix a. So here we get a to the 4, which is what we want, 6a squared minus 11, sorry, 6a cubed minus 11a squared plus 6. Now the identity matrix multiplied by a is just a. Hmm. Why is that not the answer we want, Marie? Why is not that flat not the same as that? Yeah, we've just got matrices here. Look, we've got an a cubed when the answer wants gives us an a squared. We've got an a squared instead of an a. We've got an a instead of an i. Anyway, we can basically what's stopping us up is this a cubed. What can we do with this a cubed? How can we get rid of this a cubed, Sean? Yeah, sub this back in for a cubed. Excellent, really well done. On fire today. So. Six lots of a cubed is just going to be, and I'll put the square brackets here because there's going to be quite a lot. Six lots of a squared, because this is from the Katie Hamilton theorem, minus 11 lots of a plus 6i, minus 11 lots of a squared, that's not a problem, we want that, and plus six lots of a. So. 6 times 6 is 36a squared. Look, we've got 36a squared minus 11. Ah, Kelsa Freeze. Kelsa Freeze. 36 minus 11 is 25a squared. It's a lovely job. Now we've got 6 lots of minus 11 minus 66a plus 6a. Oh, minus 60a. Lovely job. This is all matching up. We've got six lots of 6i, which is 36i, and we're done.